Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the login view. And this one, we're going to be allowing the users to log into our platform from the front end. And they're going to be doing this using a form. So you want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description. They should point you to the right directions to get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is go ahead and open up our URLs over here and we want to import something and what we we'll simply want to import is from Django. I'm going to say from Django.art, okay, from Django.rada, this is supposed to be country.art, the other way around and um, I think that should be import views and we could call this one as art underscore views. So you could call this whatever you want, take notes, I'm just calling this... Um, I'm just calling this auto underscore view. So I imported views at on auto underscore views. You could call this one bananas. You could call this peanuts or whatever you want. Well, I'm going to be calling mine view. Okay. So odds view. So um, when you've done that, or you can just say views, it's totally up to you. Now I'm just going to create a new path. And in this one, I'm going to come over to sign in slash. And I'm simply going to say auto underscore views. And I'm going to be using a built in package, which is called login view. Now for the login view, remember this is a class based view. So we need to pass in as view over here. And in here, this is where we're going to pass in the name of the template. So this is template underscore name and the name of the template. I want it to be in the user auth folder and it's the name of the template is going to be called sign in the HTML. OK, so when we've done that, um, another thing you could do is go ahead and check for something. So if a user is already authenticated, which means a user is already logged in, what do we want to do? We want to redirect them back to the homepage, right? So we're going to say redirect authenticated user. So I'm going to say redirect authenticated authenticated underscore user and I'm going to say true. So whenever a user is authenticated, we want to redirect them to somewhere. And um, finally, we could just go ahead and give this a name. So I'm going to say the name should be and I'm just going to call the sign in because that's why I love calling all of them. So now when we've done this, um, I think that's pretty much what we want to do. After we've done all this, then um, I'm going to go ahead and break out from my server and run it again. And this is what we've got. So if you don't break out from your server, you're going to be getting this error that says um, that Python must be that it must be a list or a top hole in the case of include. So just break up from your server and rerun it again and everything is going to get fixed. So when that's done, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to come over to slash user slash sign in this time around. And this is what we should get. And we're getting this because um, Django actually want to redirect to the login URL, but it doesn't know how to get that. So in order to fix that, we just need to get over to the settings.py and we need to specify a simple code that's going to be login redirect URL. So I'm going to say login underscore redirect underscore URL. And I'm going to set this to sign in. So I'm going to say sign in and um, hopefully that should be it. So it says login, blah, blah. It's not defined. I'm going to go ahead and run my server again and um, this should be working perfectly well. So now I just need to get back to the same URL that I went to user slash sign in. Okay. What do you notice? This is working, but it says redirection loop for authenticated user detected. Check that your login redirect doesn't point to a login page. Okay. Actually, this is supposed to point login redirect is supposed to point to an index page. Okay. That's the problem that we had. So this is supposed to point to an index page because when a user is already logged in, we want them to go to the, to the home page. Okay. So now this is it. Now, if I, if we come back to slash user slash sign in, you can see it brings them back to the homepage. So our functionality is working. That checks if a user is logged in, then it takes them back to the homepage. This over here, it's working perfectly well. So what we simply need to do is just go ahead and log out. So from over here in the admin, um, as you can see, we are authenticated as Guzukuma, but I'm simply going to go ahead and log out. Right now, that's what I was supposed to say. So I'm going to come over here and log out. Now, if we try accessing the login page, so if we come over to this slash user slash sign in, what do you notice? It's working, but it says template does not exist. So what we pretty much need to do is create a new template called sign in HTML. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to create a new one. That one is going to be sign in HTML. How about this one that's sign up HTML? Um, if I check out the, the views.py, I think maybe that's what I called it over there. 
So I'm gonna come over here. As you can see, I called it sign instead of sign up. So I'm just gonna change that to sign up. Hopefully you guys got that from the last video. And um, okay, when all this is done, I'm gonna come over here and refresh this, it's working. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna hop over to the sign up. You remember this is the template that we've got. I'm just gonna copy this template and I'm gonna come over here and paste it down there. So for this one now, if you come over here and refresh, this is what we've got for the username. And also for all this password things, I'm going to get rid of every other thief that we've got over here for passwords. And I don't want to use password one or password two. I'm just going to use form that password as simple as that. And I also want to get off the thief that's for the email address. So when that's done, now what you notice, we got two of these, okay? So if I go ahead and change that button over there to sign in instead of sign up, I'm going to say sign in. Now I'm going to refresh this one more time. This is the username that I've got. I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. Okay, what do you notice? It's working perfectly well. So if we come over to the admin now, you'd see that I'm the one that signed in, right? So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna come over to the admin and it's gonna say I'm signing in. How about I log out and I come over to the to the to the login page again? So I come over to the login page. As you can see, I'm here. So if I try logging in with Karen, um, I'm gonna log in successfully. As you can see, now if I try logging into the admin again, I'm gonna log in and um, I'm just gonna try accessing the admin page. Okay, actually, as you can see, no one is logged in. No one is logged in over there in the admin. But over here, let's see. This is Karen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, that's Karen. She's logged in over there. Now I'm gonna get back to the admin page. Okay, what do you notice? I think Karen is a super user. So that's why she was able to log in. What do you notice? Karen is over here. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video. In the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and work with the logout. So we don't want, we don't have to log out from the admin section any longer. All we need to do is just come over here to the website and we're gonna click on this button, the sign out button over here. And we're gonna get logged out as simple as that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and liked it. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as you as it will really mean the world to me. Do make sure to check out the links in the description below if you wanna get a template that should point you to the right direction. And until the next video, mad love, peace out.